What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Hocus Pocus 2 in this video here again today. So I've never talked about this series on, I well, I guess it's a series now. <laughs> I've never talked about this film or this sequel on my channel. So I'm doing it for the very first time in this video. And I just have to firstly start off by saying that I'm a very big fan of Hocus Pocus. I do love the original. I do believe it's a cult classic. I do think there are, yes, aspects of it that now as an adult do not hold up as well. But the movie all in all still is an amazing film for the whole family to enjoy of course obviously and we finally are getting that sequel that i know many people have been clamoring for all these years later it's being released later this year and it's being set 29 years after the events of the original hocus pocus three high school students must work together to stop the sanderton sisters who of course have returned to present day salem now recently there was a test screening that took place i think one of the very first test screenings shout out to uh, ben over on twitter who brought this to my attention and shout out to Hocus Pocus Guide who reported this over on their Instagram. They seem to be a social media. They have an online presence on Instagram where they look like they've just been tracking everything related to the production of Hocus Pocus 2. And I also know that Viewer or Non put out something about the project as well and the test screening, I meant to say. But I just wanted to also say before I jump into stuff about that test screening, it is nice that they brought back all three original stars. I'm glad that they brought them back. It's nice that they brought back Midler's nice they brought back Kathy and Sarah Jessica Parker and I believe Doug Jones is also back as Billy as well but none of the other returning none of the other cast members have returned I think Danny was going to be in it at one point or she was considering it and it just didn't work out but jumping into stuff about this test screening so Hocus Pocus Guide shout out to them over again over on Instagram and I'll leave a link to viewer and non's tweet as well but Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus Guide put out a post on Instagram to confirm that last night or whenever, whatever day to the crowd. I think it was on the 3rd. Last night, Disney held the first test screen of Hocus Pocus 2. Obviously, not a lot can come from this in terms of footage. Photos, however, from what we have heard from sources, the reaction was extremely positive, and fans of the original will really enjoy the sequel. The version of the film that was shown was missing its final soundtrack and also had a few CGI and a few CGI effects, but we also can reveal that it has a rough runtime of between 90 to 100 minutes now whether or not the actual film itself ends up being that runtime we'll of course find out later this fall but i know that viewer non also put out a tweet about that i'll leave a link to that tweet in the, in the description of this video because the tweet started off being about something else and then, he, then they kind of just threw in a little positive tidbit about the test screening you'll see it i mean when you read it <laughs> but they said that hocus pocus 2 was very fun and seeing here that the response to it at the test screening was extremely positive uh, it seems like they might not change a lot of stuff as it pertains to the response that they got from the test screening. It will be nice to see what new, what the version that we get actually will be like in terms of this with the final music and with those uh, edit or those added effects to it all completed. And again, that's supposed to be releasing this fall. This is a movie that I know me personally, I was not necessarily someone who was looking forward to a Hocus Pocus 2. It was always just something like how... I think I can compare it to like a Gremlins 3. Gremlins 3 or Beetlejuice 2. Like, we waited so long that I stopped caring. And I saw Hocus Pocus for the very first time when I was a little boy. So there were times when I was, yes, thinking about, yeah, they should do a sequel to Hocus Pocus. But as I got older, my mind started going into other places. I started being more more concerned about getting a Scream 4. And we ultimately, of course, got that. So I, I just forgot about movies like a Hocus Pocus 2 or Gremlins 3 or Beetlejuice 2. You know, those sequels that seem so far out of reach, but now they're now they're becoming a, a reality. Hocus Pocus 2 will have all three original stars back as the Sanderson sisters, and it hopefully will be something that is just as memorable for those of us who grew up with the 1993 original film. And I do also want to add that apparently there's going to be a new musical number in the film, like one of those new spell songs that they had in the original where uh, Winnie was singing and casting a spell on everyone in attendance, all the adults or attendees at that party, that costume party. It looks like there's going to be a sequence of that that happens in this new movie where it'll just be one of those new spell songs. And I think the song she's supposed to be playing this time around is going to be one way or another i believe is what the song was this was in a clip that someone shared over on in, over on youtube and i actually leave a link to that in the description as well but again test screenings have occurred and viewer non stated that 
it was a lot of fun i don't know if he actually was in attendance or if he's just or he's just saying what other people have told him that were in attendance but disney did again have a test screening that was held and the reception to it overall was very positive so again big shout out to Ho hocus pocus guide they again are a platform that's been covering the film and they reported about the test screening as well so knowing that it was pretty much a warm reception tells me that there might not be a lot of disney that disney will change knowing that the film is around 97 minutes to 100 minutes long also might mean that they're not going to cut too much out they might even I, they're not going to cut too much out of the movie. They're probably going to leave a lot of what was left in that runtime there. While, of course, just adding in the, the score and adding in those special special effects, those final touches of the effects. And then we'll get to see what everyone else saw in a finalized form later this year when it releases. 97 minutes isn't a... That's a decent runtime in the sense of, of, a, of a sequel to Hocus Pocus, I would say. You don't need a, a long, drawn-out Hocus Pocus movie. You just don't. Uh, at this stage, anyway. Maybe with Hocus Pocus 2, we'll get to see a lot more of the Sanderson sisters this time around. What I mean is, like, maybe it'll focus more on them and not the kids that bring them back. Which I think will be a nice change of how it was in the original. Where I felt like we had more time with, with uh, Max danny and binks and the other characters involved more so than we did with the actual sanderson sisters so hopefully we get to spend more time with sarah jessica parker and her sisters and learn what they've been up to you know since they've been dead or t turned to stone i guess for the past 29 years i think that's what happened at the end of the original film they were turned to stone but again it's just nice to see that the reception at these test screens were positive as someone who is a big fan of that original movie this does get me a little bit more excited about the sequel even though again this wasn't something i had on my radar we did get our first look at the at the ladies at the end of last year and they all looked great they looked great to be back in their roles and it looked like no time it passed honestly obviously yes time has passed and there are some signs of it but it's just amazing how great they look all these years later with the makeup and all the all the costumes back on they look they look tremendous i can't wait to see how this movie unfolds can't wait to watch it later this fall what do you guys think about the reaction to the test screen if you're a hocus pocus fan let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews i would cover in the future and with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.